हे एवरी वन आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग ग्रेट सो वेलकम टू वेट इट्स यू यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस वीडियो वी विल कंटिन्यू द जू एनिमल प्रोडक्शन एंड मैनेजमेंट सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड टिल द लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द सिक्स ऑर्डर्स ऑफ द यूथ एरिया सो लेट्स कंटिन्यू विद द सेवेंथ वन सो द सेवेंथ ऑर्डर इज द कार्नी वोरा एंड द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ दोज एनिमल्स आर बेसिकली दे आर फ्लैश ईटिंग मैमल्स हैविंग पावरफुल जॉज प्रेजेंस ऑफ थ्री पेयर्स ऑफ इनसीजर्स कैनाइंस आर लार्ज एंड शार्प एंड लिम्स हैव पावरफुल क्लॉज द ऑर्डर कार्नी वोरा इज सब डिवाइडेड इन टू डिफरेंट सब ऑर्डर दैट इज फिशी पीडिया एंड पीनी पीडिया Now the suborder Fishypedia is subdivided into two different groups. One is cat line and another one is dog line. The cat line consists of different families. First one is Viviridae. For example, you can note down the civet and mongoose. Hynidae, for example, you can note down the hyena and felidae, for example, lion, tiger, jungle cat, desert cat, etc. The dog line is also subclassified into different families. First one is Canidae. You can note down, for example, like dog, jackal, fox, Ursidae, for example, bear. And the bear is distributed from the Himalayas to Kanyakumari. This is the geographical location where you can find the animal belonging to the Ursidae family. The next family is Procyonidae for example you can note down the raccoon and panda red their geographical location is that they live in a temperate forest of central and eastern himalayas and are basically nocturnal animals the last family under the dog line is the mustelidae and for example you can note down the ferret and the mink I think you all might have seen these animals in different television channels or you might googled it but don't worry about the picture just concentrate on the theoretical portion because you have lot to memorize The next order is the ungulate and consists of two sub order first one is perissodactyla and another one is artiodactyla talking about the characteristic of the perissodactyla they have canines only in the case of males and have odd toed hoof and the suborder perissodactyla have different families like rhinocerotidae for example you can note down the rhinoceros and equidae and for example you can note down the equines moving to the next the characteristic of the artiodactyla as they have even toed hoof presence of hollow horns upper incisors are up, absent and presence of complex stomach for example you can note down all ruminants like swine cattle buffalo hippopotamus etc sorry to interrupt you but i think you might didn't face any of the problem while memorizing it because i just compiled it in very simple language which is just very easy to learn as i stated earlier that the suborder erectodactyla have animals which are ruminants so basically the ruminant have different families the first family under the ruminant is bovidae giraffidae cervidae the next one is antilopidae hippopotamidae sudae and the camelidae and you can note down the different examples of the animal belonging to different families of ruminants the next sub order is proboscida and the characteristic of animal belonging to this sub order is that they have testes which are located in abdomen nose and upper lip form the proboscis and two upper incisor modified as a tusk and for example you can note down the elephant so before moving forward i would like to tell you about the proboscis so basically it is just the nose of a mammal especially when it is long and mobile such as the trunk of an elephant the next order is primates so basically it comprises of 11 families and 60 genera 
there are two major families among the 11 families present in the primates so the first major family is the seropithecidae and for example you can note down the macaws and the next family is the colobinae and for example you can note down the langur here are some examples of the major primates found in india are hulog gibbon bonnet macau rehas macau and asami macau etc the next order is the cetacea and all the animal belonging to this order are aquatic mammals and they don't have hairs for example you can note down the dolphin and whale the last order under the eutheria is pinnipedia and all the animal belonging to this order are basically marine mammals and for example you can note down the seal sea lion and walrus I think you might didn't face any of the problem while understanding this chapter because most of the portion are just a theoretical one and you have to memorize it. With this video we have completed the taxonomy of important wild zoo animals. I hope you like it. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel Wet It's You. Thanks for the watching and initiative by Ankit Kaushik.